Oh, hey there. Oh, hi, Mark. I sometimes get a bit sad that after three years on this YouTube channel talking about story, people still send me videos every week where they just don't get it. There's no character, there's no one who wants anything, and there's just no story in their films. But I have been very encouraged this past year getting to see our AOD students release their newest films. These films are blowing me away, not just because they're stunning, but because they're telling good stories. They have a character who's asking a question and who's going on a journey to find that out. So today I wanted to review a few of those stories because I think we can learn a lot from the films that are getting produced by our students because they're good. I'm probably gonna be out of job soon because they're crushing it. So let's look at their films. I'm gonna mention one thing that you need in all your films. Um, once I learned this technique, once I learned this one aspect, it changed everything from my film. So we'll talk about that today. So let's go look at some films. <laughs> Okay, so the first film I want to talk about is Be There, Be Present by Greg Dennis. First off, this is just an incredibly stunning film. I always got mad respect for people who go into the cold ocean to film surf films. And why I chose this film right off the top is this film wasn't just beautiful footage, which is kind of where a lot of people peak in their career. They know how to shoot beautiful footage, they know how to land clients, but they don't know how to make it into a good story. And what Greg did with this is he took the pandemic, and we've all been isolated, we've all had lockdowns, we've all suffered, but he didn't just tell a story about that. He looked at one man trying to find his peace again, trying to get rid of their isolation and anxiety. And so they went back to the ocean to find this. The reward is always there. No matter what has happened, I have started every single morning on a high. Get right up, there, we have a character seat. who wants something. He wants to feel tranquility. He wants to get out of all this anxious tension. So now, this beautiful footage that we see in the ocean actually has meaning. There's meaning to seeing a man taking photographs in the ocean and riding these waves. It just isn't just a music video that has beautiful images. I care for this character and I can understand and empathize. Again, you wanna make a film about the COVID pandemic? Don't just go make it about the topic. Go find someone who is trying to accomplish something. Then you will actually be telling a story. And I gotta say, Greg's images on this are top notch. They're world class. He is an incredible cinematographer and I'm so honored to have him part of the art of documentary community. So bravo, Greg. And just a reminder, in a few days, March 7th, we are reopening the art of documentary. Some of you ask me, why do I talk about this so much? It's because I believe in our product. We're watching it change filmmakers' lives. People are telling us about how they've gone from making just a couple hundred dollars on projects to making six, seven, eight thousand dollars with clients. And not only are people able to make a living with what they're learning from the art of documentary, they're getting to release their first films and tell the stories on their heart. Right now, more than ever in this world, we need good storytellers. And we're so thrilled to see that our course is helping people take that next step in their journey. I love Art of Documentary. I love our community. It isn't just a collection of 100 videos that you get access to lifetime, but we have a Facebook community group where you can interact with other filmmakers, learn, grow, get feedback, ask gear tips, all of that great stuff. We even have breakout groups now where you can meet with other people in the course and talk about your filmmaking journey and about the films you're working on. And best of all, once a month we get together as a whole community and we do a group coaching call. And this is where you get to pitch your films, we talk about new topics, and we get to interact as a group of filmmakers. I love Art of Documentary. I'm so honored to be working along so many incredible filmmakers in our community. And so don't miss this chance. We only open up the course twice a year. And so we have an early bird discount for the first 48 hours. You can get the course on sale then. We have module one and module two, both have 50 videos. Make sure to go check that out, artofdocumentary.com. March 7th, we're reopening. We won't reopen till September. That's my little advertisement. I love the course because I believe in the impact it can have on your career. But let's get back to talking about some films. Oh, by the way, we are doing a little giveaway for our course. So run over to our Instagram. We are giving away one free access to The Art of Documentary. Go check that out. Contest ends this week.
The next video I want to show you is actually a trailer for a longer film called Viewfinder. I hope I pronounced that Viewfinder. Viewfinder. I think it's Viewfinder. Anyways, trailers are so important for your films because no one really wants to see your film. I'm sorry. They, they don't want to spend 40 minutes watching your film. But if you can make a good trailer, you will convince people to go watch that 40 minute film. And you might be like, Mark, you're being harsh. I'm not. This is what Hollywood films have to do. The biggest blockbuster films have to convince you time and time again, every commercial break, to get your butt out and go to the movie theater or go onto Disney Plus or whatever and watch their film. Trailers are so important. It's almost as important as a good film in order to get people to watch it. So this film by Lloyd Lloyd is a trailer for his longer film. And why his trailer is good is again, we see the character, Gabe, and we see what he wants. He was building this van, but now there is some conflict. This is what's so great. He's, he's added conflict into his trailer because now COVID has changed the way he's doing this. He's a man who thought he could find himself and experience a new way of life living in a van. And now suddenly he feels isolated, lonely. And this whole belief system that he needed to be free is being challenged. You get to see all this in the trailer. And it's so great because it makes me want to see the whole film. Suddenly I care about the character and I don't know if there's going to be a resolve, a resolution, how it's going to turn out for him. Really great way. I, I, you could think about this film, a man living in a van would be really boring. What the filmmaker's done is captured Gabe's desire. And now I want to know if Gabe can find that. This is simple. Your films are simple. The idea, your films just need to ask a question and then they need to explore that answer and then show if there is a resolve. And if Gabe finds that piece he's looking for, great. If he doesn't, it's still a good film. But you've asked a question, so we know there's a journey. Great film. Go check it out. How do you even begin to tell the story of a place when words aren't enough to describe its beauty? Do you start with the endless lands stretching over thousands? And the last film I'm going to show you here is from one of our students, Alexandra. She is an exceptional filmmaker. This footage blew me away. This is some of the best drone work that I've seen in a long time. Her film, Land of Nomads, looks at the country of Kyrgyzstan. I hope I'm saying that right. Man, I'm bad at pronouncing things. What, what does Google say? Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. What? Let's, I thought it was Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Okay, Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> Land of Nomads, Kyrgyzstan. But this footage, I'm just gonna play it on silent in the background here. It is insane. Alexandra, you and your team are exceptional. You not only nailed the color grade on this, you took a, what could have just been a, you know, a typical travel film. We've all seen beautiful images around the world shot at sunset. But Alexandra looked at the people in these countries. And what was great about it is she put herself in this film, but she didn't make it about herself. I think we're all kind of sick of watching influencers travel in countries and eat fun food. But what she did is she made this project about the people first and about their land. And looking at how these people live in this harsh landscape, but still want to sit down, have a lovely meal, and get to meet their neighbor. So bravo, Alexandra. This film, again, I can't reiterate how stunning it was, how beautiful it was, and your color grade is amazing, and I would love to hire you on a project sometime. Kyrgyzstan. So, I am so excited for this year ahead, not only to have more people join our community, but by getting to see amazing films being created by so many talented art of documentary filmmakers. And for a lot of people in our course, they've never made a film before, and these are their first films they're venturing into. So you don't need to be a pro, but you also can be a 20-year veteran, because we got lots of those in there, but our community has something for everyone. So go check out the art of documentary. We price it super low compared to film school and people tell us that they've learned more in just a few videos in art of documentary than they've learned in an entire three years at film school. Don't miss this chance, March 7th. So if you're interested in joining the art of documentary, I look forward to seeing you on the 7th. Otherwise, I'll keep hanging out with you guys here on this channel and let me know what you want me to be talking about next. I'll see you on the next one.